Martin. School is officially out for summer in Fayette County, but already some parents are wondering what the next year will bring for kids. Catherine Collins takes a look back at this difficult year amid the pandemic and where we may be in the fall. That's the LEX 18 big story at 11. The goodbyes can be difficult. The last days are always kind of bittersweet. But for teachers, students, even parents, this last day of school is a celebration. It's been crazy and I'm glad they're actually back in person. Especially after the challenges the pandemic brought. It's, it's been quite a year. Mary Todd Elementary Principal Michael Jones says kids took virtual learning in stride. If nothing else, COVID kind of proved that point, you know, that we are all in it together. And he was happy to see them finish the year out in the building. But the parents we talked to are already thinking about next school year and whether or not their kids will have to wear masks when they return. Probably for at least the first semester until more people are vaccinated yet. Mom of three Mary Todd students, Stacy Kaiser, says she thinks masks may stick around, but many are hoping they won't be needed. That's our goal. Back to normal. 100% normal. Greg Prince spent the school year advocating to get kids back inside the classroom through the group Let Them Learn Fayette County. He believes students should have returned to the classroom earlier, and he wants a commitment from the district about the fall. Come on, guys. I mean, let's 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 work together. Let's get this done. Let's get back to normal. You know, the kids need it. Fayette County School Board Chair Tyler Murphy says the district's COVID core team will meet in early summer to give families an idea of what to expect next semester. The governor indicated today that um, you know we can expect a uh, a normal, uh, to use his word, start to the school year. So that's something that that we're hopeful for. Looking back on this difficult year, everyone we spoke to was thankful to the teachers for putting students first. They, they fought for the kids they, and they did it and they got it done. I'm grateful to our staff. I'm grateful to our families. I'm grateful to our uh, students. Now, Murphy says it's time to enjoy the summer. In Lexington, Katherine Collins, LEX 18 News. Starting tomorrow, Fayette County Public Schools will begin holding high school graduations in Rupp Arena. Tomorrow, Henry Clay's graduation is at 10. Frederick Douglass follows at 2. And Tate's Creek High School honors its seniors at 6. Then on Thursday, Lafayette's graduation begins at 10. Brian Station's at 2. And Paul Lawrence Dunbar is the final graduation at 6 in the evening. You can watch the ceremony live online on the district's YouTube page, which can be found by searching YouTube for hashtag F C P S K Y. And there will also be replays on Spectrum Channel 197, MetroNet Channel 2, and Windstream Channel 13.